Liverpool fail to win once again against West Ham United. Welcome, I'm Tom, and this is the West Ham Liverpool post match reaction and analysis video. And this was actually overall a pretty decent performance by Liverpool, especially in the second half. But that decent performance was ruined again by defensive uh, frailties, lapse of concentration. First, Endo, instead of clearing the ball, he gets high pressed by West Ham. Ham, they get a shot which Van Dijk blocks, the ball is going into the corner, Alisson makes a brilliant save and then the whole Liverpool team falls asleep from a short corner. West Ham pass it out, it was Paqueta probably and what is inexcusable is one of the smallest players on the beach on the pitch, Jared Bowen, has a free header around from the penalty spot and Gakpo doesn't attack the ball. And West Ham score first again. This is the 23rd time that Liverpool went 1-0 down out of 55 games. That's almost half of our games when we go 1-0 down, which is unacceptable. And yes, we came back in nine of those games to win but the rest we didn't win and in this league there are such small margins for error that you you can't have a defense leaking goals west ham basically uh, lived off from liverpool's mistakes and they fully capitalized because they, they actually didn't have that many clear chances but every time there is was a cross coming into our, our box liverpool were not defending it properly the second West Ham goal, again, Alisson should have caught a simple cross into the box. It slips through his fingers and bubbles out. West Ham get the ball, they get the shot away, Alisson save it, but then West Ham get the ball again and a simple cross above Kwanzaa who fails to mark Antonio and he scores the equalizer. And uh, this was, you know, our season in a nutshell, this game, because, yeah, finishing wise, I mean, Liverpool created quite a lot of uh, okay chances not great chances but we we actually played pretty well in the second half the first half Liverpool didn't have the pace the urgency the know-how to break down a really solid solid deep low block West Ham defense Harvey Elliott is not a right winger but Salah is so out of form that he can't really complain that he's dropped and what is Salah doing arguing with Jurgen Klopp the legendary manager save that for the dressing room you don't do that in front of cameras especially not when we only have four games left of the season and Mo Salah is publicly arguing with Jurgen Klopp like a petulant child like a crybaby I love Mo Salah don't get me wrong Jurgen Klopp is a bigger legend than Salah first of all second of all even if he wasn't you can't question your manager you can't question Jurgen Klopp because that's not just not on you don't do it publicly you can do it behind closed doors Doors. You can sit down with Jurgen Klopp and discuss your grievances and of course Salah is annoyed because Liverpool conceded again and he has to come on uh, out with 10 minutes to go but Salah didn't deserve to start. He didn't put in many great performances and in the last uh, what seven games Liverpool have one win against Fulham. In, all, in the other six games we collected two points. So we have one win, two draws and four defeats in our last seven games absolutely atrocious shocking run of form and Liverpool lost four games all season and then we lose four games in April absolutely shocking the way that this Liverpool team let down Jurgen Klopp the absolute legendary manager he deserved a better send-off than this absolute shambles that the Liverpool players are putting on show because Jurgen Klopp deserved to go out all guns blazing his Liverpool team firing on all cylinders giving absolutely everything and Liverpool look lethargic look slow they look out of ideas they look out of uh, you know passion out of fight out of uh, clinical finishing most importantly Luis Diaz hits the ball post in the first half two minutes before we can see the first goal and if that goes in the whole game is totally different and Liverpool actually got pretty lucky in the second half Andy Robertson with a great finish pulls it back into the near post bottom corner and Arola can't get down and that was Andy Robertson's first goal since September so finally Andy Robertson got a goal and then Gakpo with the luckiest of goals you know he shoots uh, it's, go it's going uh, out for uh, probably goalkeeper then it, it, it takes a triple deflection and 
goes in and it is given as a West Ham own goal. But then Liverpool had the chances to make it 3-1. I thought Gravenbach was pretty great. Uh, he This was potentially his best game in the Liverpool shirt. He got into so many great advanced positions. He created and got many really good goal scoring chances. But then, you know, he missed all of those chances. And Liverpool are playing like, like a top six team, not, not even a top four team. We are playing like a top six side, like a Tottenham, like a, I'm not, I, I won't say Chelsea or Man United because they are much worse than Liverpool. But yeah, we are playing like Tottenham, that we can score at any moment, we can also concede at any moment. And this last month, is this the true face of Liverpool, that we are just a top four team at best? We are definitely not a title winning team, and that's gone, and we are not even, and that's, that's the most important frustrating thing for me if the season was reversed and we started this badly and then we finished the season like how we started in the first six months Liverpool were brilliant and I also saw a statistic and I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or not but Liverpool had a 75% win ratio before Jurgen Klopp made his his announcement and since then we have a 61% win ratio so we massively dropped off but we we dropped off massively in April or at the at the end of March until then Liverpool actually played like a title, title contender team and uh, also um, I don't want to really talk about it because Anthony Taylor is just a corrupt cheating referee he didn't give a, even a yellow card when McAllister's ankle was almost bo broken by Paqueta and he whistled at every time that West Ham player got touched and fallen over but the biggest howler is that Andre Areola catches the ball Anthony Taylor gives advantage so he doesn't whistle the ball is in play Areola rolls the ball out and for some weird reason the goalkeeper starts adjusting his socks so Gakpo is racing through to the ball and he is about to take the ball and score into the empty net because Areola is not even looking at the ball and then Anthony Taylor blows the whistle for what nobody touched any West Ham players nor the Liverpool players. The ball was in play. Gakpo is about to score a goal, yet the referee blows a whistle. He calls on the physio when Araola was perfectly fine. Nobody asked the West Ham physio to come on. Araola wasn't injured. So Anthony Taylor stops the play when Liverpool is about to score a goal. And Anthony Taylor stops the play, calls on the physio, and uh, so the Liverpool player don't score from the West Ham goalkeeper just losing his head completely. And there is a reason why Liverpool have the worst win ratio with Anthony Taylor in charge, worse than any other referee. And he has refereed the Liverpool 10 more times than any other club. So PGMOL is put putting Anthony Taylor on purpose onto Liverpool games so Liverpool have the worst results. Because the PGMOL absolutely hate Liverpool and hate Jurgen Klopp. It's not an agenda, it's not like a conspiracy theory at this point because it happened too many times for it to just be a coincidence or a conspiracy theory. This is what is happening and I'm telling you how it is. And I'm just reading the stats that in the 16 games that we played in 2024, we only kept two clean sheets. Yes, the attack hasn't been firing on all cylinders, but you can't blame Liverpool's bad run of form on just the attackers. The defenders and the midfield is just as much to blame because defensively we are leaking goals. And also, I don't, don't understand why Alisson doesn't catch that ball. It's a moment of madness. It's a lapse of concentration. Alisson has a simple cross to catch. Nobody is really bumping into him. And he lets the ball run through his fingers like he has butter on his gloves. And West Ham get the ball back. They get the shot away, which Alisson brilliantly saves. And don't get me wrong, I love Abel Alisson. He's a world-class goalkeeper. But you have to catch a simple cross in the Premier League if you want to win the game. And West Ham get the ball back and that's how they score. Because their crowd got up. The momentum changed. The momentum fish shifted. As soon as Alisson let that ball slip through his fingers, the whole stadium got up and took notice. Like, like Liverpool are not on it. Liverpool are not concentrating enough. And that's what I feel since the end of March. That Liverpool are not on it 100%. Liverpool are not sharp enough. Or are they too tired, too exhausted? Are they too much under pressure? I don't know. Also, this argument between Mo Salah and, and Jurgen Klopp. Does that single the end of Mo Salah? I really hope not. Because I love him. 
absolutely but this is this is uh, this could be the last season of Mo Salah I, I'm, I really want the new manager to keep him up but as I said if Salah doesn't want to sign a new contract then I want Liverpool to sell him sell him for for a hundred million to Saudi Arabia we can reinvest the money and sign one or two brilliant attacking players and of course we will miss Salah's goals but lately Salah has been absolutely fallen off the cliff and just one more word on the referees Howard Webb and half of the English referees absolutely must go they should be sacked on the spot PG Amoel is not fit for purpose they are not good enough to referee in the Premier League they should go to referee Sunday League amateur football because that's their level I mean the the howlers that Anthony Taylor keeps making Anthony Taylor is the referee who didn't give free penalties to Nottingham Forest and score and caused the, all of that scandal yet he gets to referee every week and he was also going to the Euros Anthony Taylor is going to the Euros UEFA thinks this is one of the best referees in England I mean that just absolutely blows my mind I, I, honestly yeah yeah let me know what do you think the Liverpool just completely collapsed uh, in this end of season it was one of the worst endings of the season that we could imagine to go out with a whimper and Liverpool are not even safe when it comes to the top four we need to get, actually get results against Tottenham or Aston Villa because if we lose those games if we lose to Tottenham and Aston Villa then suddenly Liverpool could find themselves in a spot of bother Aston Villa can still get 78 points so Liverpool need one more win to finish out of Aston Villa and Tottenham still can get also 78 points but yeah Tottenham play uh, Man City and uh, Arsenal and Liverpool as well so the Liverpool uh, Tottenham game now is a must not lose game for Liverpool from Liverpool's point of view so I see this as like, like not uh, two points dropped because of the title race the title race was long gone the title race was over for Liverpool after the Crystal Palace game I see this game actually as one point gained in the top four race because that's what Liverpool are in right now and I just want Liverpool to finish third we don't deserve really any better Liverpool conceding 36 goals in 35 games it's just not not good enough not title winning uh, defending especially two clean sheets in 2024 in 16 games that's just not good enough in the Premier League let me know what they think in the comments below thanks for watching have a nice day see you later guys goodbye